In this lecture, I want to get to the core of cryptocurrencies with you and help you understand exactly what they are. Because you should never trade something that you don't fully understand. So let's dive into this lecture and get to the bottom of what cryptocurrencies actually are. Now, if we take things back a few years, you'd actually see that cryptocurrencies didn't really exist in the form we see today. We've got a plethora of cryptocurrencies right now, but we didn't a few years back. If we take this all the way back to when Bitcoin was invented by the infamous Satoshi Nakamoto, you'll see that cryptocurrencies emerged as a side product to Bitcoin. Bitcoin is what really started this whole new ecosystem of cryptocurrencies that we currently have. Let me give you a run through now of some of the characteristics of cryptocurrencies. What that will help you do is understand just how different cryptocurrencies are to so-called traditional currencies. Now, of course, each cryptocurrency has its own unique value proposition, but they do all share a common set of properties, which is what I'll be jumping into right now. So first and foremost, the transactions are irreversible. So once you send your transaction to the network to get confirmed, it cannot, and I repeat, cannot be reversed. So no one at all can reverse that transaction. There is no so-called safety net with an organization that manages it all. So transactions start and end with you. Secondly, it's secretive in a way. Let me explain. So your cryptocurrency wallets aren't actually linked to any identifiable information of yours. You simply send and receive cryptocurrencies using your wallet address, which is a random string of letters and numbers. But remember just a few moments ago, I mentioned it's secretive in a way. Well, let me explain what I meant there. So yes, your wallet is not attached to any identifiable information, but if you use certain providers such as Coinbase, they do attach personal information to your wallet. So I thought that's something that you need to be aware of. And on top of that, you can see the transaction flow from wallets, as well as in the majority of cases, but you can't see who owns that wallet, of course. The third characteristic is that cryptocurrencies are super fast global currencies. What I mean by that is it'll take the same amount of time for me to send a piece of some cryptocurrency, let's take Bitcoin for example, it'll take the same amount of time for me to send that to a friend who lives down the road street from me, and let's say a relative who lives in India, it'll take the exact same amount of time. So like I said, it's super fast global cryptocurrency and a global currency. It's not controlled by borders, it's borderless. Moving on to the fourth characteristic now. That is that cryptocurrencies are secure in their nature. Cryptocurrencies are secured by the power of cryptography, hence the name crypto, then currency. As long as you keep a hold of your private keys, then only you can send your cryptocurrency from that wallet, no one else. So that's the fourth characteristic, security. Then the fifth and final characteristic is that cryptocurrencies are permissionless. What I mean by this is that you don't have to ask anybody for permission to use a cryptocurrency, hence it's permissionless. There really is no middle person who can prevent you from getting involved. So those are the five characteristics that all cryptocurrencies share. Irreversible transactions, they're secretive, they're fast and global currencies, it's secure, and it's also permissionless. Now, as I mentioned, those are the five characteristics that all cryptocurrencies share, but there are also other characteristics that distinguish cryptocurrencies from each other. For example, the amount of supply certain cryptocurrencies have, so Bitcoin is limited to 21 million Bitcoins. No more can ever be created whereas Ether has an unlimited tip of supply. So as you can see from this point, there are other characteristics which not all cryptocurrencies share. But just before I end on this lecture, 
I want to touch on the future of cryptocurrencies. Where do I see this ecosystem going? Is it here to stay? Well, let me get into that for you now before finishing up on this lecture. So what you should know to begin with is that the cryptocurrency markets are volatile. It's not strange to see double digit movements daily. Of course, volatility is how traders make their money, but you also need to know how not to lose more money than you invest. Of course, we're teaching that in this course, but in general, the future of cryptocurrencies is coming. We're still in the early adopter stage. We're starting to see more companies from outside of this ecosystem jumping to the deep end with it. Look at the likes of Kick Messenger announcing their cryptocurrency project, Kin. They have hundreds of millions of users. So yes, we're starting to see this ecosystem move forward, which of course means more opportunity. Now naturally, with more opportunity, there's going to come more scam coins, with people trying to get you to part with your hard earned trading money, but we'll show you how to spot and avoid these. But yeah, moving forward, huge opportunity. A lot of organizations are just turning on to the power of this ecosystem and how they can thrive with smart contracts and so on. And you're taking the right step to be a part of it, not just watch from the sidelines. I'll see you in the next lecture.